Just, I guess your overall thoughts are how, how, you, how you felt like you guys played tonight. Well, first of all, first to give credit to uh, to AK and his team, man. You know, it, they're they're a legitimate top twenty five team in the country. I think uh, they're you know got most of the guys back from last year. Uh, team that's experienced, and then the transfers he got coming in, man. So really good teammates, a really good coach. Uh, so I got to give him a lot of credit. But it's it's, it's a new team for us. Brand new team, uh, trying to change the culture, trying to get these guys to learn how to compete at a high level, uh, try to play hard, uh, try to everything with intensity and urgency. So it's it's going to be a process. It's not going to happen overnight, man. But you know, when I, I'm glad to uh, that we came in and we fought for. We had a chance a couple times early, but they just got out because they just got some really good players. Yeah, you, you, they, you got behind, but then you fought back to, to down and one. Mm -hmm. It's kind of kind of what is that? Um, Going forward, that has to be a pretty good experience for you. It, it, it is, and you think you got to think about it, man. Like on my, my non-conference schedule, uh, 12 of 13 games on the road. Wow. I mean, can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, you know, so, but that's part of HBCU life. That's part of it. Uh, we understand what it is. Uh, but I think if we can con continue to compete, and uh, hopefully we can we can get something out of this. Just talk about uh, your son. I had a really good game. I uh, really opened up the three for you. I know it uh, had to be a little bit bittersweet for uh, Andy and uh, knowing him since he was a young kid. That y were yeah, together. it's crazy. So AK comes to the locker to the coach's locker room before the game. He said, "Hey man, I see TJ. What? He's like because TJ was like 11 years old uh, when when we was in, in Oxford together. But but yeah, it was it's good, man. At any time you you know you have a good performance like that. TJ's a he's a good player, man. He he has a chance to be really good. He he competes and at a high level, but, you know, it's part of, you know, just trying to continue to mature, man. He's just a sophomore, so trying to continue to get better. For, for you with, with, with a new team, early game just kind of you just going to play different rotations, play a lot of guys, just trying to figure it out? And that was part of it, because I've told these guys from day one that I'm, I'm usually a guy that's running, that's probably going to play about nine, maybe ten guys, and I end up playing, I think, 12 tonight. That's not us, you know, but now when you scramble, we got foul trouble. At first half, I had all three of my five men, all – all three of them had three fouls. So I had three five men that got fives, foul problems. So, you know, that was that was tough. So now it, it just kind of messed up the rotation a little bit. But I'm usually about nine guys, maybe ten. So but it's early, so we're trying to figure it out. We still don't know who can who can do what right now. Right. As an opposing coach, when, when Jelly gets like that, when he's you know, when he's just hitting from all over. Yeah. What 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 do you do as an opposing coach in that in that game? Well part of it is a part of it was first of all, he's a really good player. Uh, and so and we try to, you know how you try to show guys film, and, and, and but they don't believe it. You know, they think, ah, oh, yeah, maybe. You know, that's not me. And uh, because that was, game plan was, he comes off a ball screen, we're blitzing him. We got to get the ball out of his hands. And and just bad, bad coverage. You know, our five men was back too many times. And so, and he made a couple good shots there. You know, we did we did the coverage right. Uh, but he's a good player, and that's what good players do. Coach, you missed some early woes, especially foul trouble, not getting buckets to fall in. What are some of those things that caught your eye on the emphasis, especially inside the paint, that we can take and move forward while we continue this three-game road stretch? Yeah, well, you think about, like you said, we had some easy chances inside and we just didn't finish. But anytime you guys get, uh, you know, your bigs are in foul trouble, now they're tentative. They don't want to foul. They don't want to post up hard. They don't want an offensive rebound. So we got a lot of stuff we got to work on. Man, it's, it is so early. And, I, you know, like, you know, the whole – every college coach I talk to, I've been in this business a long time, said the same exact thing. We're not ready. We're not ready. We're not ready. And we're not. So we just got to continue to work, man. It's just, it's just the thing about it that we got to be on the road trying to figure it out. So, But that's part of it. One Pat Love stack that stuck out was the fact that TJ Owen was the main store, uh, starter that scored in the first half. No yeah. other starter did. Is that something that sticks out to you? Or is this something that just lives today, move on towards tomorrow? What, how do you feel about that? Yeah, you got to move on. I mean, nothing we can do about this. But, you know, it's one of those deals that – because, you know, you look at my starting lineup, uh, Eric Coleman, who's a guy who's played Division One basketball, you know, just had a, had a rough night. Uh, Roland, who's a, who's a really good junior college player. Uh, Jordan O'Neal, who's who's played here last year. So those guys, and Isaiah Range played here last year. So those guys that played Division One basketball just had a rough uh, first half. You know, it happens. It happens. You come on, a, come out in a hostile environment the first time, and you know, playing your first game, and and uh, you play against a really good team, and you just have some nerves, which we did. I think we shot three straight air balls to start the game off. <laughs> you know, but we got back in it. Got back in it, and, and and I just want these guys to fight. As long as they're fighting, I think we're go we're gonna see some improvement down the line. Questions? Thank you guys. I appreciate it.